How's it going guys? Today I'm here in the Lizard Lab and I'm here with Ivan. Hey. And we're here feeding the baby three-toed skinks. So I thought you guys should check this out. That's awesome. Look at this one. So how would you say they hunt? They just <clears throat> Come out of the soil. Yeah, they. I think they detect like the vibrations from the from the floor when the crickets are walking, because you will see some of them like when the crickets are around, they just come out, pop out, and then they chase them. Usually, I've seen some videos of. I took some videos of foraging, and then they can chase them under the floor. You know, like diving like a yeah. shark under <coughs> the substrate, and then they just pop out the head close to the to the cricket, and then just attack like a strike and total ambush. Like yeah, it's like an ambush predator. Like this guy here, he's got his little head sticking out. Yeah, he he's knows. waiting. Okay. <laughs> They're sort Let's of trained. Troll, yeah. Boom. <laughs> Look at this. They know. They they know now that when they see the cup, it's something is coming out. That's awesome. We could see him feed in the wild. Yeah, no, I could see him. And I don't know what actually they eat, but I can imagine it's crickets or something yeah, like that. Small not, invertebrates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not ants because they live with ants, small, even ants. And then, yeah, probably they. Yeah, I think it's kind of crickets, small invertebrates, probably worms, although I have to give them. Um, probably eat a lot of isopods and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so. <laughs> They live in that sort of I try with mealworms and they don't like them, so I think it's yeah, it's a pot on kick it small. They are smashing along. No, they are fast man. <coughs> Give them five and they finished before I do. <laughs> And these ones <coughs> are these all the cold temperature ones or No, they're they mixed. mixed. They're mixed, mixed around <coughs> usually, yeah, and then random numbers so I don't not, not bias, I just feed them all the same and yeah. And it's difficult to know, like, uh, the, the populations, at least, the bovipers and bovipers, you can differentiate them pretty yeah. easily. Because they are bigger and darker, bovipers. Yeah. But the oviparous ones are, like, yeah, uh, more orange in the back, kind of light colors. And the interesting thing is that they don't come out very often. Like, it's just a couple of them that come out. Yeah. But usually it's the, the, the bovipers ones that are outside. So that's very weird, and I yeah I don't really know if there are more cases because you know they have m higher predation rates or they're just yeah more yeah, really shy, cool. less bold, you know. But it's really cool. You've got them trained well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're trained. They have a lot of tasks to do during these months, so they are trained now. They yeah. I never saw the, the adults do this before. No, 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 adults are like, yeah, I don't know, adults are really shy, they don't come out, never work for food, they only at night, also because when when the juveniles, like juveniles have not, like, you know, the, their active pattern is not that fixed, yeah. so they usually come out during the day, probably, because they need more food, and the adults are more crepuscular, kind of nocturnal, so you will see them, like, at six, seven, yeah going out or in the morning early very cool yeah yeah they're all waiting <laughs> yeah these are waiting now okay let's go for you and then back into his hole yeah that. wow it's like an anaconda just without using the body. But they actually construct your finger. They try and then yeah. hang you on your finger. Yeah, and you'll think that they're with the legs, they're not really useful, but I don't know how they can, like I have them in my head and climb, they climb over my head. Yeah, right. It's like, yeah, it's like, it they're really walk. unique sort of species, aren't they? Yeah, it's very particular. And they're, they're really common, really, but you just yeah. don't see them. No, the other thing, they are everywhere. The numbers are not that high, but they're er practically everywhere in New South Wales, at least, and south of Queensland. So it's like 
Yeah, they have a white a white distribution. Well, that's awesome. Thanks for that. No, no, no. And I'll see you guys next time.